Do you ever feel like your calendar is running your life instead of the other way around? Are you drowning in back and forth emails just to book one meeting? Well, if you don't know about Calendly, you're working way too hard. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how this one app can give you back hours of your week, make you look more professional and stop those endless scheduling ping pong matches. We'll walk through how Calendly works and why it's one of the top rated apps small business owners love. And we'll look at a real life example of a client who cut down 90% of their admin time. I'll show you step-by-step -step setup tips that you can follow in under 10 minutes, pro features you probably didn't know about, and also how to make it feel personal even when it's automated. If you've ever said, let me know what time works for you more than once in a day, this is for you. What is Calendly and why should you care? If you don't know Calendly, it's a scheduling tool, but not just any scheduling tool. It's the one that lets people book into your calendar without the back and forth. You set your availability once, link it to your calendar, Google, Outlook, whatever you use, and share your unique booking link. That's it. They pick a time, it gets added to your calendar, and you're done. No more are you free Tuesday at two, no more double booking, no more admin chaos, and it's one of the easiest and low cost apps small business owners can use to look 100% polished, even if it's just you in your home office. Let me tell you about Sam. She runs a business coaching service, super busy, always on the road, constantly replying to emails in car parks. Before Calendly, she was spending at least six hours a week just managing her calendar, replying, rescheduling and chasing confirmations. She set up Calendly. She added the links to her website and email footer. And guess what happened within two weeks? She said, I went from 10 back and forth emails per client to none. I literally reclaimed a full workday every week. Now she screens clients, books paid calls, and avoids late arrivals, all automatically. That's the kind of win most small business owners don't realize is sitting right there waiting for them. You can get started with Calendly for free. Here's the quick setup. Go to calendly.com and create a free account. Connect your calendar like Google, Office 365, or Outlook. In this example, I signed up with Gmail, so it's asking me to link my Google Calendar. Set your availability. Choose your working hours and any buffer time between appointments to prevent overlaps. Create event types, maybe something like a 15-minute discovery call or a one-hour strategy session. Here I have some of my meeting types. Choose one of the meeting types and select more options. Enter your limits and buffers. And next add the questions by selecting invitee form. Add questions like name, email, and phone number. Next, add some custom questions like, what's your business name? Or what do you need help with? Here I ask about the purpose of the meeting. You can add options for the user to choose or simply add a text box for them to type something. And this is how it looks to a client once they click on my meeting link. The client selects a date. Next, they select a time. Next, the client enters details in the booking form like name, email, and meeting purpose. This client has a Gmail email. The client receives an email confirmation which contains an optional link to their calendar. I receive an email advising that a client has booked and the meeting appears on my Outlook calendar like this. You should copy your booking link and drop it into your email signature, website, and messages. You can literally be live in 10 minutes. And yes, it works just fine on mobile too. Be sure to make it feel human, not robotic. Here's where a lot of people get it wrong. They think automation has to feel cold. But Calendly lets you add personalized touches like custom welcome messages, confirmation emails in your own voice, reminder emails so people actually show up, and follow-up emails to encourage next steps. So instead of feeling like a generic booking form, it feels warm and welcoming. But are the pro features worth paying for? The free version is great, but if you want to get more out of it, here are a few pro features that are worth considering. Payment integration so you can take upfront payment with Stripe or PayPal. And team scheduling, which is perfect if you have a few staff members and want round-robin bookings. Also workflows, you can automate follow-ups like a thanks for booking email or a document upload link. And you can use custom branding so it looks like your business, not Calendly's. And on top of all of that, Calendly integrates smoothly with apps like Zoom, MS Teams, CRM tools, and even Zapier if you want to go nuts. And here's a pro tip. If you need to block some time to catch up on admin or to take some personal time, you don't need to reformat your meetings in Calendly. 
Instead, simply block out the time in your diary. For me, that's my Outlook calendar, and the block time becomes unavailable for Calendly meetings. If you're constantly juggling calls, chasing people for times, and missing out on clients because you couldn't respond fast enough, Calendly closes that gap. It gives your clients instant access to your availability while giving you full control over when and how you work. No more, sorry I missed your message. No more, double booked. If you've been thinking, I need to get better at managing my calendar, or there has to be an easier way, this is it. Let me know in the comments. Do you already use Calendly? What's your favorite feature? Or if you've got questions, drop them below and I'll do my best to reply. I'll see you next time.